Alright, welcome to this tutorial on creating tables in Microsoft Word. The table that you see in front of you is the objective of today's lesson. You'll be creating this table by the end of this lesson and hopefully pick up some skills about how to manipulate some layout tables in Microsoft Word. So I have the table in front of us and up above, directly in my Word document, I have a space to work with here. So I'll be referencing back and forth between what we want to do and what we're currently working on. So the first thing I need to do is to go up to my command table and go to table, insert table. And I already counted up the number of columns and rows. There were eight columns and ten rows in my table. So once I click OK, it automatically inserts it there for me. So the first thing I notice is that these headings on the table, they seem, there are only four of them, so they don't match up with the number of columns below them. So how they've done that is they've left clicked on their mouse and they selected the number of cells. And then up in table, there's a feature called Merge Cells. Once you select that, you'll find that it will eliminate the line that separates those columns and now makes that one particular area just one column on its own. So you can really start to vary the way your table looks. So the next thing I'm going to do is manipulate this area right here. Where they've selected basically four cells to merge and left that area blank. They also need to merge these cells together so they merge vertically and also horizontally. So we'll merge these cells vertically and make space for the seasons. That will be our table. All right, that's really all the merging we need to do up till this point. The next thing I need to do is to stretch out this table. So in Microsoft, with tables, if you mouse over the table, a little square box comes up in the right-hand corner. So by holding the left button of the mouse down and dragging down, you can manipulate the size of the table. The next thing I notice is that I don't have my rows distributed evenly. Some rows are very short while others are very large. And so what I need to do then is again mouse over feature and in the upper left hand corner you have another little command prompt. And if you left click on that it will select all of the cells. And then by immediately right clicking on it you'll receive a command that says distribute rows evenly. And what this will allow you to do is to quickly distribute the rows so that every single row is the same size and you don't have any uh, so that are short, very long, and you don't have to go through cell by cell changing each one. Alright, so I'm ready to start entering some text here and the first thing I notice is that these years up above are centered. So going back up to our table, I need to select those cells, and up on my toolbar, select Center. Now I can start entering data very quickly. A quick pointer about tables in Microsoft Word is, instead of going back to your mouse to click and move from cell to cell, just use the Tab key and it will move you forward very, very quickly. How to move backward in a table is to collect to, to hit shift tab, so both keys at the same time. So shift tab will allow you to move backward, tab allows you to move forward. And the same thing applies with the up and down arrows. I can move vertically within the table as well very quickly. Okay, the next thing I want to do is enter this income and cost row. And I do notice that it is bold, so I will again select it, go up to my toolbar and select bold. And I'm done with that. The next thing I'll do is I'll enter this local national pairing of words. And again, I use my down arrow key to move very quickly in the table. I could probably use a cut and paste feature, but because there's 
There's not too much data here. I don't have too many cells. It's okay. The next thing I notice too is I want to extend the size of this column. So using my mouse over feature again, you get this different looking line here and it's basically prompting you to hold the left button down on the mouse and move left to right and you can change the size of the, the rows and columns as well. So now I want to make it look just like the one below it so that move the column over to the left. See, I want to uh, enter the seasons over here on the left. However, I notice that the text direction is much different. So again, I want to select the cells. And we're going to use a new feature. Up on format, there's a thing called text direction, and this will allow me to or change the orientation of the text. And so I want the text, the bottom of the text to be facing to the right. So I select that, but then I also notice that it's bolded and centered. So I want to bold and also center that text. And as soon as I do that, I'm ready to start entering the text. And so that's all done. So I'm ready to go. All the text is there. The next thing I need to do is to select that particular area for color. So this is the area where in our model table everything is purple. So again a new feature up in table, go to table properties. Down here borders and shading. And borders will probably come up in the default menu in your on your computer. Mine happened to come up on shading. But just make note of the tabs up above. Select shading it will bring up a variety of colors. You can do more colors over here if you'd like, but we want the color purple to apply to these cells. And so, once I've done that, I have purple. So I'll do the same thing over here on my left side of the table. And now everything is blue. So I'm going to take a little shortcut here because I noticed that these rows alternate with gray and then some form of color. So instead of going through and putting a color and then a gray and a color and a gray, what I'm going to do is just make all of these gray and then just change the individual rows to their particular color. It'll save me a little bit of time. So change them all to gray. Now all I need to do is go through and select each individual row to be able to change its color. Next row was green. Next row was yellow. Finally, the last row, the last row was red. Now I have a perfect duplicate of this table. So the point of today's lesson was to get away from boring tables that really have no structure and no variety. Um, really create some interesting tables. And I hope that you've picked up some of the features using Microsoft Word table format.